Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel and your weekly love zodiac reading. This reading is for July 19th to the 25th. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate with you. If it does resonate and you want to dive in deeper and see more, there is an extended link in the description. Um, there's also information regarding personal readings and links to my other social medias in the description also if that interests you. Um, I'm going to begin your reading with a card from Wisdom of the Oracle and then I'm going to go into your tarot. So Capricorn, we'll see what the universe wants you to know about your romantic love life for the week ahead. So July 19th to the 25th, what do you need to know about your romantic love life? We have go the distance. You, so basically, it looks like here um, you're reaching. You're reaching a huge point. You're reaching a huge point. Um, you're really close to completing a huge cycle here. And I do feel like there's there is um, abundance and reward and. something amazing for you at that finish line you're really transforming right now you're evolving you're transforming it looks like things could be going quite quickly for you but i do feel like you are kind of like in this process of letting go of a huge cycle or an old experience of love and you're really coming to the end of that and you're going to be having something so fresh and so new for you in the near future. It's interesting because as well here we've got number 47 which is an 11. And it's making me think of obviously two people. I do feel for you, you're, you're coming to the end of maybe a challenging cycle and you're going to be having... The next experience of a really beautiful partnership and it'll be like a partnership like you've not had before or a love that you've not had before i do kind of feel that here with this so let's see what your tarot is saying I feel like if some of you guys, if you're giving up with the idea of love or harmonious love or, you know, um, the idea of having a wonderful relationship, you're going to be really surprised if you, if you are like feeling like it's not going to happen for you. You're going to be so surprised. So Capricorn, July 19th. To the 25th, what do you need to know about your love life? Recent past energy surrounding your love life, present energy surrounding your love life, near future energy surrounding your love life. The energy that is guiding you right now, something that you need to know, your energy and your person's energy. Bottom of the deck, we have got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, again, I'm feeling like you might think, oh, this is, it's just not going to happen for me or it's not going to work out or I'm not going to have the type of experience that I want to have. Keep going because you really are. You really are. You're really at the end of a huge um, cycle here. And, and I do feel the next one is going to be so amazing for you. Recent past energy surrounding your love life. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. So there could have been an earth sign that come towards you. This could have also been um, you focusing more on your stability and things may have been kind of slow on the love front. It, it, it may have been more focus here upon um, career, career building, stability, maybe your health. Um, this guy just kind of looks a bit fed up as well. Things are a bit slow in the recent past. Present energy, you're getting loads of attention. You're very attractive. We've got the six of wands. You're getting recognition. You've got admirers, people that are interested in you. And again, what I'm getting there with that go the distance and the six of wands, 
success and victory, accomplishment. You really have accomplished a lot. Your confidence is really on point at the moment as well here. Or if you don't feel like this, I feel like subconsciously you're confident and it's really radiating and people are very attracted to you. They're attracted to your energy. Near future energy, we've got the seven of wands. So here, um, with that six of wands, it's interesting, it goes from six of wands to seven of wands. You've got people that are interested in you. You've got people that are wanting to connect with you and come in and, yeah, connect with you, but you're resistant. You might not be ready just yet. You might feel like you're not ready yet, or you might feel like you don't want to let people in um, just yet, or you don't fully let them in. You might not be very trusting. Um, or some of you might be a little bit set in your ways, especially if you've been very focused upon uh, a specific journey and things have been slow. It looks like quite quick energy is coming in here. Potential um, dates, people, connections. And I just feel like you might not be quite ready or you might not feel quite ready just yet here. Otherwise, you're very picky. You're not just connecting with anyone. You're very selective, which is good. That's good. The energy that is guiding you is the Three of Swords. Yeah, there's something that needs to get um, resolved for you. There is something that is still bothering you. There's some, maybe some hurt. There could be a bit of, like with this hurt and uh, maybe a bit of a lack mindset and thinking, am I going to... Am I going to find my perfect person? Am I going to have the type of relationship I want? And I feel like you doubt that due to past experiences still influencing you or due to a situation or a person still influencing you. So you're kind of a little bit resistant to these offers, these people, these opportunities that are coming in. Something you need to know, we've got the six of wands. You are going to be moving forward out of this mindset. You are. You are going to be shifting. Your energy is the queen of wands. You are really attractive. Honestly, you've got, whether you, if you, you're not aware of this, you've got so many admirers. And there is, there is this like confidence there's this confidence that you that you emit, this this energy you emit that is attractive to others. But as I say, it could be subconscious here with this feminine energy. You might not be consciously aware of it, but you are. You're really attracting. You're attracting everything you want to you. You're you're attracting it. But there is this issue here of you you're manifesting what you want. You're attracting what you want. But there's this issue with being able to receive it. And there's this issue here of being able to see clearly what it is. You might have a very fixed vision of what how something's going to be because here this is quite 3D, physical, earth energy. So it could be like you have a, a, a set kind of vision and you're working towards this set vision. But what's coming towards you could be very surprising for you, but there is this kind of thing here of not being able to let it in or let people in or you know be open to to potentials or even to like hidden happiness <laughs> hidden happiness but discernment is good but you don't want to block your blessings either you don't want to block your blessings your person's energy we've got the hermit you could be connecting with a virgo here we have got that Knight of Pentacles, but they don't have to be a Virgo. They could have Virgo placements, but this person is very deep. This person goes within themselves. This person is single. They are not dating anybody. They're not, um, they're not so much interested in anybody either. They are very much kind of focused upon themselves, going within themselves, connecting with nature, um, trying to understand themselves. If... If 
this person is not one of these people that are coming in and connecting with you. If this is talking about somebody in separation, then their energy may also, you may be connected to their energy and their energy may be influencing you. And that could also be why you're resistant as well, because you could be picking up on some type of energetic bond here and, and getting this inspiration of this kind of isolation here focusing on yourself so that could also be kind of influencing you a little bit um there um but if this is someone new that you're connecting with then this person's very deep and they will respect you because they respect themselves so they will understand you because they understand themselves and you would be you would be a match in regards to um discernment and protecting your energy and being true to yourself you would i'm gonna go and see more about this person in the extended i want to see some advice for you as well regarding the seven of wands um this three of swords you're naturally gonna shift out of that you really are you're gonna free yourself up you're gonna be letting go of that um but I'm very interested in this person. I'm interested in what you need to know about these people that are wanting to connect with you and what is coming up next for you. So feel free to join me. The link is in the description. If uh, you're leaving me here, thanks so much for watching. Um, any likes, subscribes, comments are greatly appreciated. Guys, I love connecting with you. Um, and yeah, have a wonderful week. Thank you.